deep beneath the rugged surface of Cornwall, where seams of tin and copper have been mined for millennia, men toiled in some of the most dangerous conditions imaginable. Mining in Cornwall dates back over 4,000 years, reaching its peak during the 18th and 19th centuries, when the region was at the forefront of the global mining industry. Tin and copper from Cornwall fueled the Industrial Revolution, driving innovation and trade across Britain and beyond. Under Cornwall's grey skies, miners descended into narrow shafts, armed with only picks and shovels. By the dim light of flickering lanterns, they chipped away at ancient rock, extracting precious metals essential to the age. Tin was critical for producing alloys like bronze, while copper became indispensable for the growing demands of electrical wiring and industrial machinery. Above ground, the Cornish landscape was transformed by mining. Engine houses with towering chimneys rose against the cliffs, symbols of industrial ingenuity. Powered by steam engines, many designed by Cornish inventors like Richard Trevithick and James Watt, these structures marked a revolution in mining technology. The groan of bellows and the pounding of machinery echoed across the countryside, a constant reminder of the region's industrial might. Life underground was gruelling and perilous. In the dark, cramped tunnels, miners faced the constant threat of cave-ins, flooding and dangerous gases like arsenic and methane. The dust from drilling filled their lungs, leading to long-term illnesses like silicosis. Despite the dangers, they laboured on, knowing their livelihoods and their families' survival depended on the earth's hidden riches. At the end of each long day, miners returned home to modest cottages. By the light of a single candle, they ate simple meals of pasties, practical food that could be carried easily into the mines. Here, they spoke of a better life, of sunlight, the sea, and escape from the unrelenting dark. But for most, these dreams remained distant. Each dawn brought the call of the mines, the demand for labour tying them to the rock beneath Cornwall. Cornwall's miners, often referred to as Cousin Jacks, were renowned for their skill and resilience. As mines in Cornwall began to decline in the late 19th century, many took their expertise abroad, travelling to mining regions in South America, South Africa and Australia. They carried with them not only their techniques, but also their Cornish culture, leaving a lasting legacy in mining communities worldwide. Today, the remnants of this mining era remain etched into Cornwall's landscape. Engine houses stand as enduring monuments to the men and women who powered an industrial empire. These structures, perched against the backdrop of dramatic cliffs and crashing waves, tell the story of a region that shaped the world. Cornwall's mines are more than history. They are a testament to human endurance, innovation, and the unbreakable bond between people and the land. 